Hello, this is Hans van der Kwast, Senior Lecturer at IHC Delft Institute for Water Education. In this video, I'm going to show you how to visualize point cloud data in QGIS. There are web viewers like Pottery where we can already view the data easily. And it's this kind of data that we can also visualize in QGIS. This is an online viewer that already comes with an example of the AHN data of the Netherlands and has some settings to visualize the data. The QGIS 2 3.js plugin now supports this kind of pottery data set. And uh, there's this entwine.io website, which has a quick start guide, which we are going to follow in this tutorial. And we're going to apply it to the AHN data, which will be stored locally. So we'll start with opening the Anaconda prompt and we'll install uh, Entwine in a specific environment, which we also call Entwine, because I already did it before uh, to test this. Uh, I will make a new environment, which I will call Entwine2. So this command will just install the software and create the um, environment. It will take some time here. I've speeded it up a bit. Then we need to download our data and I'm going to download here the AHN3 dataset, which is the elevation model of the Netherlands based on LiDAR, the last point cloud. I select the tile and I download the file to my hard disk. So I have to change to the new uh, environment that we created, Entwine2, and then we proceed to build the data in the format of uh, pottery. And that's an important one. So I put there the path of the file and uh, that takes a lot of time here. I've just uh, did some cutting in the video. And the next step is to install the node.js. This was just needed to visualize it using the pottery viewer and the Plasio viewer. Uh, this is not necessary for QGIS. For QGIS, we just needed that conversion to the Pottery compatible file. We're now going to install the server, which is also needed for the visualization outside of QGIS. And then we run the server. And then we can use the Pottery viewer and the Plasio viewer. So let's have a look at the Pottery view. So this is the same viewer as we used in the start of this video, but now it points to our local server with the local point cloud data, which is also a newer version of AHN than the online example. And we can change all kinds of settings here in the, the viewer to visualize our data. It's important to put the attribute to elevation. And then we see the elevation and uh, there we see Rotterdam. We can easily uh, navigate through the point cloud. We can change the color schemes. So that's one way of visualizing your uh, local point cloud data. Another nice tool to visualize our local point cloud data is this um, Plasio viewer. If you click the link in the quick start, you get to this page. And there you can also set it to elevation and different color ramps that's used. You can also use different uh, background imagery. And another nice tool is to do uh, inundation where you can simply increase the water level and some nice visualization uh, options too. But of course we want to visualize this in uh, QGIS, which is the next step of this tutorial. Here in a new QGIS project, I've added a digital surface model of Rotterdam and I'm going to add an actual aerial photograph from the PDOK plugin, which uh, gives access to open data from the Netherlands. Then I'm going to show you where to download 
the QGIS 2 3JS plugin. There is a native 3D viewer, but with this uh, viewer you can load these point clouds. So you get this icon, and there it is. And we select now first for uh, the elevation, the DSM void field to have some uh, orientation. And there it is. And we need to change the settings a bit to have some higher resolution of the elevation. That of course makes it quite slow, but it gives a better impression of the elevation in the area. There it is. And now we can add our point cloud. And we can add a pottery supported file that we have created. And you can see here the different file formats. We go to that folder where we have converted it to the right format. And then we add it. And it will add all these points. If we click right on the point cloud layer and we go in the properties, we can also change there the color type. And if we choose height, it will color the points according to the elevation which makes it easier to interpret. There are some other options you can explore. While it's loading, you can already uh, navigate. It will load more points and uh, you can see it's quite smooth. You see the Erasmus Bridge and the Euromast and uh, even trees and the boats in the river, the Meuse River. You can switch off the background elevation to only see the point clouds, which already gives a good impression of uh, buildings, trees, and other structures that we have on the surface. You can see the church and the marked hall and the famous cube buildings, and all these shapes come out really well.